please your fan base well, there, there certainly were fans who uh, shared with us that they, you know, it'd be easy for them to drive from Iowa to Nashville. Um, there are fans who live out in the East Coast who are telling me they're, they're thrilled we're, we're coming out there. At the end of the day, um, you know, hopefully our fans know, there, it's not a selection process by the university to the bowls. It's we provide all the information to the bowls, and uh, we have a great bowl lineup. The Big Ten, in my opinion, has the best bowl lineup of all the conferences in the country. I've spent the last two weeks making sure all of the bowls uh, with whom we were uh, likely to be associated had all the information about the number of alums we have in that area, uh, the, our, our TV ratings, uh, making sure they had all the data, and uh, I, I gave all that data to them. At the end of the day, uh, again, just being reminded that the university doesn't choose which bowl. They, they're gracious to accept whatever bowl uh, we're invited to. And uh, the league being in charge is really about uh, the Big Ten talking about principles, not going to the same bowl twice, uh, having bowls from the East Coast to the West Coast to the South. So the, the Big Ten being in charge is really meant to be more of a principle uh, setting process and then letting the bowls select going from there. And that's, that's really how it's unfolded. They still select. Uh, they just have uh, principles that are a little bit different than they were before we, we, we had the new bowl uh, line. Just bowls in general, again, uh, you know, I think the, be the best thing for me, at least as a coach, and I think our players feel the same way, it's a, it's a chance to extend the season, uh, an opportunity to play one more game together, it gives us four more weeks together, and typically that then involves being uh, together over the holidays, which is kind of unique and different. Uh, but, you know, I always remind our players that you know, playing college football is a really small window. So uh, unless they're, they're dumb enough to get into coaching, uh, it's really going to be a small segment of their lives where they are in a unique situation over the holidays. That'll be the case here. And, and the biggest thing is it's uh, the chance for the 2017 season to fit, finish up and the seniors uh, finish up on a, on a real positive note. So we're hopeful of that. Uh, certainly proud of the fact that this is our 15th bowl now in 17 years. And the credit goes to our players on that one. So. Really uh, pleased for the guys. Uh, lastly, just you know, we're playing a very tough Boston College team. I don't know an awful lot about them, other than they really finished uh, with with a, a real positive note, winning five of the last six ball games. Uh, they're playing good football. Uh, I'm very familiar with Steve Adazio, Coach Adazio, and the kind of teams that he's uh, put together. You know, going back to the days at Temple, they're a little bit a tough, hard nosed football team, and then certainly we have some familiarity with uh, Coach Reed being there, Jim Reed. Who's a tremendous person, tremendous coach, uh, doing a great job on their staff as well. So, you know, bottom line is we have to be at our best to, uh, you know, to, to get the job done, and uh, that'll be our challenge over the next couple of weeks. We'll try to get ready as we do all the other things you do in December. And I'll, I'll throw it out for questions. Akron was, was all his friends and new friends start calling him for tickets. You know, then he may not be. Uh, it's not. It's not always easy going home uh, for for ball games. So that that's going to be the next thing he's going to be challenged with. But uh, yeah, I think you know for he and. Amir, certainly those are two guys that uh, uh, grew up pretty close to Yankee Stadium. Uh, it's got to be exciting, and I'm sure their families are very, very excited. And, uh, you know, it's always neat to have that kind of opportunity to play in Yankee Stadium. is a really uh, neat thing, too. So uh, I'm sure those guys will both be hopefully at their best. You're a baseball guy. What does it mean to play in Yankee Stadium, and how is it different? Yeah, you know, I, I don't know if uh, – let's just think about that over there. I, I don't, first of all, I don't know if we've – I've ever been involved with a football team playing on a baseball field or a stadium. I'm sure we have at some point. Uh, I just can't doesn't pop to mind. I was also thinking, I, I have been to Yankee Stadium, but I was in the original one. I was probably five years old. I also got lost in New York at that same, on that trip. My grandparents uh, lived there for a while. And, uh, you know, my parents tried to get away in a cab. The cop stopped them and made them take me. So, anyway, they will be unique. But I, I've not been in the new, uh, the new Yankee Stadium. And, just I think everything about this, uh, I'm hardly a, a veteran New York guy, so it's going to be, I think, really uh, you know, a great adventure for all of us just to, to see a very unique city and see it in some ways that you know, most people don't get to see it. Your team 